Doctor Who has has a plethora of directors in its near 60 year existence. One of its most prolific and best was Douglas Canfield, directing eight total episodes from 1964 to 75. His collection of stories was some of the best the series had to offer. But what led to his Doctor Who episodes coming into production? Douglas Gaston Sidney Canfield was born on the 8th of May 1931 in India. Canfield studied at York School of Art and aimed to work for Walt Disney. He was a lieutenant in the West Yorkshire Regiment and was training to be in the SAS, but due to an injury, he pulled out of the application process. He would later start work at the BBC and was asked to work on a new programme called Doctor Who as production assistant. He worked on the very first episode titled An Unearthly Child. He would work on both runs, the pilot and the final broadcast version. He would then work as production assistant again on the now missing episode Marco Polo. He would later direct the third and fourth episodes of Planet of Giants and would then oversee the editing of these episodes which was intended to improve pacing. He would then go to direct the Crusade and the Time Meddler and he was then asked to direct the 12th episode epic, The Daleks' Master Plan. Episode 7 was heavily rewritten by Canfield, as the original script was not up to scratch. After two years away, Canfield returned to direct the atmospheric Web of Fear. Canfield cast Nicholas Courtney as Alistair Lethbridge Stewart, who he remembered from The Daleks' Master Plan. He would later cast Courtney as the Brigadier in his next story, The Invasion. Producer Derek Sherwin would remember the success of The Invasion and set season 7, the next season, solely on Earth, with the newly formed unit and Brigadier at the top of the cast list. Canfield was once again asked to direct the season finale of season 7, titled Inferno. He would direct the location footage and episode 1 and 2. But the following episodes would be directed by producer Barry Letts from Canfield's notes. After Canfield had a minor heart attack on April 27, 1970, Letts later stated that Canfield's preparations were so meticulous he merely followed Canfield's plans for episode 3 and 4, but the latter three were largely his own work. Canfield remained credited as director as BBC regulations at the time forbade Letts from being credited for more than one production role, i.e. as both producer and director. But more importantly, Letts did not want Canfield's illness to be widely known, lest it harm his career. After a long break, he would return to direct the bookending stories of season 13, Terror of the Zygons and The Seeds of Doom. But these would be his last jobs on Doctor Who. After putting so much work into these Doctor Who stories, he became very stressed and decided to call it a day on Doctor Who. He died of a heart attack on the 27th of January 1984. His work is thought of very highly across fan circles. Inferno is considered the best of Pertwee's era and the Daleks and Master Plan is considered an epic which is sadly lost to time. Mm-hmm.